good party people this is your friendly neighbor Chad the Maverick back again with another video and so for today I'm going to be going over the upcoming week week and a half ish time so we're going to go from May 8th to about the 17th so that's what this time frame is for originally I was going to break down the astrological transits but that's not a hundred percent what I'm aiming for however I am going to be using the aspects of this transit energetically during this um, talk. So keep in mind that Uranus and Taurus on this um, Taurus season has been making major impacts as far as like this upgrade. Everything's getting upgraded. Um, for example, I just updated my phone for the first time. Was it to only get emojis? Yes. But it's ironic how I did that when Mercury was like Taurus, Uranus. I know it's a stupid example, but it's one of those things where it's like, in order to update it to like use new emojis, for example, was the the time frame. So yes, it's a, like I said, dumb example, but this type of ideology and new communications is growing now and it's expanding now. And with the aspects that are going to Saturn and Pluto and the ones to the North Node, this is going to be about heavy clearing out of like our 10th house so our um mid heavens our highest goods our highest deeds and destiny are starting to be impacted by this um newfound set of power in a sense but let's not get too complicated because that's ironically what this whole video is going to be about i think the key phrase for me to put is that Right now is a time frame where it's so simple, it's complicated. And it's so complicated that it's simple. Let me break that down. So, I'm reading this book right now. Um, it's called Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Nowhere near done with it. But um, he was a Taurus, lived in the Roman Empire. Um, I believe he was a general or emperor. He was very known and had a lot of prestige in his life. He um, was forementioning and thanking all of his friends, comrades, parents, um, family for all of their worth, the gods that were um, giving him the strength to push forward. But there's this time frame where he stopped and he talked about how his um, father was. And his father was a very accomplished man prior to him. And what he was saying when he was talking about his father was along the lines of how he's like, my father never had an agenda. My father never tried to work for fame. My father never tried to work to be rich. My father never tried to take advantage of anyone else. My father wasn't about getting the newest clothes or trying to seem the most fashionable what he was essentially breaking down is that the reason why his father was such a great man and great figure of prestige is because he found pleasure in being simple and keeping things simple and not overcomplicating what was in front of him. He just knew to live by his virtue every day and daily and the things in the universe would move in his favor by him putting in the faith and a little bit of work every day. And I don't know what um, astrologically his father was, but that is a very Taurus type of energy as to breaking away at something every single day, as to touching into these new consciousnesses within these new like voices within that like kind of lead you to know that it's okay every day I think that's a big part of it but with that being said let's get out of the old stuff and get back to the present day because that's all that matters is the present <laughs> but with that being said present day life is continuously being mutated if you look at anything science related, Darwin's theory of revolution, anything along the lines of that, life is continually under a mutation process. People are becoming more aware and keen to 
this as time progresses, as people get more into astrology, as things become more mainstream along the lines of like holistic healing, etc. People are coming more in tune with that as we are making this mutation. And the thing about it though is that we think, oh, this this mutation, this life is going to be happening in ten years and fifteen years, however it's happening right now, present moment. Present moment, these things are happening. With that being said, that's the only way that it would happen within 10 years, 15 years, if it keeps going, right? So that's another Taurus attribute, present moment. And so from this present moment comes a lot of the teachings of um, Buddhism, for example, such as like the Four Noble Paths, the Four Noble Truths, sorry, the Eightfold Path, and a lot of other, if you don't know much about Buddhism or want to learn more, I suggest you look into it during this time frame, um, this upcoming 8 to 17, because these Buddhist type of um, mentalities and teachings are definitely going to be beneficial for you in these upcoming days. Not important. But back to the topic. Um, another thing that comes from kind of living in this like earthy present moment is as the more present that you get, the more you kind of activate your chakra system, your chakra wheel. You're not thinking too far in the future, too far in the past, living in the now, shouts out to universal frequencies. But it's one of those things where the present moment is so important because there's an illusion that life is always in chaos. It's an illusion that everything around us is supposed to be chaotic or, oh, I'm supposed to want this, oh, I'm supposed to want that. But sometimes when it comes to things, it's way more simple than we even would like to admit. Sometimes it's like we get so caught up in these worldly ideas that we stop and realize if we stop realizing that we're living right now, like we're in this present moment right now. You're watching this video right now. You're breathing right now. Breathing deep. <sighs> right now something beautiful about that and so what happens is there's this huge shadow of complexity that takes place um this is based off of the gene key 23 um but there's a lot of fear base notions that come from let's say being left out right being left out creates this complication of like i want them to notice me i want them to understand where I'm coming from, I want them to do this, right? And when it comes to this, like, consciousness, the origin of consciousness to begin with, no, no, the origin of language is the consciousness. So we're, a lot of times people are trying to find a perfect language at the perfect time. Even myself, subconsciously, there's a part of me that's trying to find the perfect things to say. You know what I mean? Um, it's one of those things where we can force trying to speak on things and making them perfect. However, it's not up to us. Like, essentially, as much as we know, we don't know anything. We can figure things out. We can have scientific advances. But what do we really know? And it's less about what we know, and it's more about us trying to take that and focus on trying to align ourselves with time. Like, what's coming out of us at the right time? What do people need to hear from us at the right time? A big thing with this, we always talk about, there's a lot of complex things that a lot of people assume. However, the intention and what's being said from the heart is way more important than the approval of others and or the right language. So a lot of the times it has to do with intent. Intent is way, I know personally in my life, Intent is way more important than oh, sometimes what's said or what's conveyed. Like intention, like are you truly trying to help? Are you from a positive place or not? You know, but um, that's just the shadow energies of it. Like where complexity is a thought that it's it just saying the word complexity makes something complex. Like oh, it's complicated. Is it that complicated? Like are, is things that complicated because in reality they're not things aren't that complicated we complicate them the mind likes to make things complicated 
we like to figure out things, solve things. Sometimes things are so smooth that we just, we're, since we're so caught up in the rap of everything else, we're trying to make it more difficult. Life, in a sense, is easy when you learn the context of simplicity. And that's a lot of this um, theme of this week. Like I said, it's so simple, it's complicated. You follow now? So, with simplicity comes the true um, portion of manifestation, right? It's about saying what you think and not trying to bring down other people. In order for us to reach this new consciousness that like the Sharon and Taurus is bringing in, we have to stop trying to solve everything. Trying to solve everything doesn't help us. It just makes it more complicated. Most things that are pure and real are pure and real. You feel it. You feel it. You don't listen to what it said. You feel it. Like, you know what I mean? Like the feeling happens and then you're like, what did that person say? That was so profound. Like, what did they say? Then you bring the language to it. It's always like the heart and the mind first. Like it's always those things. And then we, we cling on to the logic after. But the thing about it is that right now, at the time frame where it's like you're supposed to only listen to what's best for you. Your highest good is really, really important right now. And within you bringing out this highest good and blocking out the BS, be sure to bring in like your sense of humor. Your innocent Taurus is trying to bring out this like inner genius inside of everybody. Have you ever seen like a, a comedian that's hysterical? But they're hysterical because they don't do much, right? The, the first person I thought of was like Hannibal Burris. I don't know if you know who Hannibal Burris is, but to me, he's hysterical. He'll just sit there, or like let's say the Eric Andre show, right? He'll just be on and sit there. He might say like one thing. He'll just be like, yeah. But there's something about like the demeanor. It's real quiet. It's real simple. But with the moments and the chaos of everything around, it's so hilarious because it's like everything around you is going crazy out of control people are throwing things like someone just like slipped on somebody's shoe someone just threw something whatever like everything's going on but the fact that you could just be simple enough to be like okay there's a humor to it and the gift of this like simplicity is finding the humor in daily life Finding the human daily life brings you more abundance and it allows you to manifest your wildest dreams because you're less focused on the dream. You're more focused on just trying to live and just living and after stating your intent, just leaving it alone. Like you, a lot of more things come from there. You know, you get more connected to things. It's an easier way to connect them to your, like your root, your chakras, your, your heart, your mind your solar plexus, your gut, you know, and your gut, the three brains, you know, it's, a, it's an easier way to connect them to the gut, the heart, and your brain, but that's another video, I'll get there when that's time. The last thing I want to talk about, though, is that essentially, when you figure out this state of simplicity over time, this is like a, a thing in a meditation, I suppose, for this upcoming time frame, until the 17th, before the new moon, I mean the full moon, before the full moon starts, right? Is that everyone within themselves has their essential Midas touch, right? The, I touch this thing and it turns to gold. The thing about this Midas touch and about this power and about this magic is that it's never found when you're attempting to find it. Most of the times, your talents and the things that you can turn into gold come to you often feels like a by mistake in a sense, right? It's almost by mistake. And when that happens, your brain is so confused. Like, was this supposed to happen? Like, was I supposed to hit that note in that song that, like, sends shivers down the crowd's spine? Like, was this supposed to be a thing? Is this really my gift, right? And the thing about it is that in order for you to really reach those gifts and to transcend the simplicity of life is like, you have to fall out from everything that you believe, which is a lot of the reason why people talk about ascension, et cetera. But essentially it's just you reframing your brain from what you previously believed about life being complicated. Life isn't that complicated. Life is simple. We complicate it for our 
own entertainment in our minds. Our minds like to be entertained, stimulated by thoughts, stimuli. Um, that's why we love media. That's why we love conversation. That's why our favorite voice, our favorite instrument is the human voice. It's because we like to hear things. We like to make our minds think. I'm one of those people. Like, I, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? This is the person. I think I love thinking about things. But understanding that thinking about things and what's really going on in the present moment are sometimes two completely different things is really real and um you have to essentially to find those gifts those that might as touch by mistake is that you have to surrender to what's inside of you you have to surrender to your chakras you have to surrender to well i just gotta oof, chill but at the center, <laughs> surrender to yourself, surrender to your chakra, surrender to your highest good. And within that, you're able to start to see this. Um, the word, the key word for it, in the, my, uh, what I was reading before was quintessence, right? Which is just transcendent simplicity. You're supposed to trust in your path, your personal path, more than any teacher and what anyone else could ever tell you. Right. And I think that's um, important for this tour season. What's what's inside of you? What's being said? Um, what's not being said? And why is it not being said? And if it's not being said, realize it's for the better good in that case. Right. Um, I'm not trying to make this video too long, but. Essentially, this upcoming time frame is really about, just to check on the Atlantis one more time. It's going to be very Torian ruled. Mars is going into Cancer on May 16th. Um, there's going to be sextiles from Mercury to Neptune, Mercury trying Saturn. So it's a lot of Saturn, Pluto, Taurus, Cancer, North Node, Neptune, energy, right? So essentially, we're going through all of these things, but it sounds all complicated. It sounds like you should freak out. It's simple. It's supposed to be simple. It is simple. You want to know why? Because without you even knowing astrology, you would have woke up like it was every, any other day. Without you like even coming to this video, you would have woke up like it was any other day. With that being said, it's kind of like that feeling. Like it's another day. Be grateful for the day. Be thankful for the day. Plant your seeds during the day. Make sure your fruitions come true, your dreams come true, but you don't have to hop to fame. Just that's where the culture got screwed up. Everyone's trying to hop to fame. Like I'm making these videos, right? I have less than a hundred subscribers. However, I I am so grateful and thankful for everyone that comes back to watch a video. Just because that's there's something that is a testament to that. It's like I it's it's so simple where it's like you know, people just click on a video and watch it, but for something else and for someone else that can mean so much. Because it's like you you are now seeing that this as valuable. You are now seeing this as worth your time frame, worth your investment, worth your your moments, right? And I think before I start rambling off, it's just about Keeping things pure and sweet, sweet and eternal, right? Like, it has like a, just a grant, random gratitude just for everyone who does do watch these or share these with people that like the video down below or comment. Like, they, these things mean a lot and they're so simple. But just think of this as, don't think of it in terms of me personally. Think of it as terms of like, imagine that one thing that you do that's so simple every day that can transform. I think that's my challenge. My challenge to you all, right, for this next upcoming time frame is what's just one simple thing you could do, say, or just vibrate every day where people are going to be like, yo, thank you, right? Remember, it's, we make it complicated. Sometimes the most simple thing in the day, someone telling you, hey, I like your shoes, can make you happy so astoundingly happy for the rest of the time frame. so yeah i digress um 
If you're new to this channel, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> have my website down below. Um, working with some, I just finally got my music compiled. I don't even want to get into that conversation right now, but <laughs> um, it's coming soon. Every Thursday, Thursday there's gonna be another drop, and um, yeah, so yeah, please subscribe. Thank you all so much. My readings are down below. Um, if you have any questions on anything or want to connect via social media, all my links are down below once again. I'm going to leave now before I start talking and making things more complicated for myself than I have to. Uh, <laughs> uh, much love, y'all. Much love. Right, peace out.